Hey guys, so apologies for the hair, it's a bit rough, I've just got back from London um, and I have a huge collective haul to show you, which I'm so excited about. Um, basically over the last few weeks I've been collecting things and it's never been the right time to film it and then I knew I was going to the Lon London for the weekend so um, I knew I'd be shopping some more so I thought I'd just wait. Um, and I'm glad I did because I have some exciting new things to add to the mix. Okay. Where to start? I will start with makeup, I guess. Makeup and skincare and stuff because this is primarily a makeup channel. So, should we start with nail polishes? I have way too many guys. I don't know how I've accumulated this many. Anyway, I got two of the Model Zone Mirrorball ones, and this is the blue one, which is called Freak Out, and the green one, which is called Dancing Queen. Now I originally bought the blue one, loved it, but then my friend bought the green one and I was like, oh, it's like a peacock, it's so pretty. Um, so those those two, I believe these are £5 each. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly. Um, yeah, I think it's about that. And then the Wonderland collection came out, Winter Wonderland collection came out from Model Day as well, so I got two of those. Um, and this is Snowflake, which looks like this. If I edit it and you can't see it very well, I'll take photos. And mm, Southern Lights, which my friend also got. I saw her paint her nails. It's amazing. It's like a lilac base, but with holographic glitter. It's amazing. Right, so then I have two free nail polishes woo, woo, um, from Nails Inc. This month, Glamour. Yeah, glamour. Oh, giving out nail. There's four to collect. I only got two because I have similar colours for the other ones. Um, so the first one is called Glamour Glitter. And it's quite um, sheer. It's like a sheer base with silver micro glitter type stuff in it. So that's that. And then I already have a colour like this, but it's so pretty and it's free. Well, it's not free, but it's very much cheaper. And this is St. James, and it's like a nice Christmassy red. Then I went into Superdrug and I saw um, MUA's interpretation of the caviar nails, which looks like this. I think this was £3, I'm not sure. But I got Libra, which is basically black with light blue one, uh, just light blue ones in it as well rather like the caviar darker one from Ciate. Um so I'll be interested to try this out you know this is three pounds in the set from Ciate, which does to be fair include a nail polish is like 20 quid so trying that out and then last but not least for nail polishes I was in John Lewis the other day um, just before I went to go see Skyfall which was really good actually um, and they had the James Bond collection out and I saw this and I was like so pretty. So this is £11 and it's called Her Majesty's Secret Service, which I love the name of as well. What it is, it's like a, just it's just like multicoloured but in a, I can't even describe it, it's just like rain. You know what it looks like a bit, which doesn't sound that nice but it is, is when oil is spilled on the road and you get like that rainbow. Again, I'll take photos if it's not showing up. Right, makeup. I only have two makeup bits. The first one is from Bourjois and it's the Queen Attitude Cole Kajal. Um, I've always wanted to try one of these Kajal liners. They look like this. Um, I haven't tried this out yet. But it's like that. Um, so I'm excited to get this a go. And I think this was $7.99, I'm not entirely sure. So that's the packaging. Then I went into Superdrug again when I was in London because I don't have it at the Superdrug here. And I got the I Divine PPQ Shangri-La Collection palette in Supreme. There's two different ones from the Shangri-La Collection. One's blue based, or like cooler, and one's more like red based. I got the blue one because I never wear anything really red on my eyes. Much more likely to wear blue. So this is the Supreme palette. I can open it. I thought this was just nice because I don't have any colours like this. I don't have many colours like this. Um, just for 
I know it's not entirely wearable, but for dressing up and stuff. You know, I'm at uni, I need all sorts of colours. Um, and they're just handy to have on hand. And I think this was like £7 or something again, so rather than going out and buying loads of expensive colours, it's good just to get a cheaper one for if you do need that kind of thing. So I got that. Right, now on to just a few little skincare things. I went to Boots, and this is really boring, I got some shaving gel from Gillette Satin Care for dry skin. It has shea butter in it. I'm going to test this out because I hardly sh shave my legs. I have to use Beat um, for dry skin because it just makes them so much drier. So I'm going to try it out with the dry skin one um, and see how that goes. Plus I love shaving foam. It's so much fun. It's like... Whew, I'm really laying like that. Um, okay, then I got some more number 7 beautiful skin wipes because I've run out of them again. These were £7. Um, I said I was going to wait until um, I got another £5 off number 7 and buy them for £2. But they're my favourite. And <laughs> I couldn't wait. But I'm not going to buy another one until I get one of those number 7 things, which should be soon. They come out quite regularly. Um, so, yeah. Then something boring. <laughs> Just bought some toenail scissors. Woo, just because I need to do my toenails. It's got receipts everywhere. Oh yeah, the Shanghai palette was $7.99. Right, then I went to Lush. Um, and picked up a few things. Just because I can't, it's like way too tempting. So the first thing I got, I saw... Um, when I was watching What I Heart Today or Lily Pebbles and I just could not resist getting one of these and it is the Bubble Beard Bubble Bar and this was 4 95 and what this is is you kind of wave it in like swirl it around in your bar and you can use it a few times depending how long you leave it in the water for um, and it is the most amazing thing ever it's a moustache on a stick how amazing is that? Um, it smells really nice as well. So depending how long you keep it in the water, you can use it a few times and it just creates nice bubbles. So I just had to get that. I see now why people get so drawn into it. You're like, oh, it's only two pounds. Only two pounds. So this is, oh, sorry. This is Space Girl, two pounds, 10. Um, and it looks like this, it's kind of like a planet type thing. And it has sparkles on it. It just smells so sweet and I can't even tell. I think there's a bit of lavender in there. I'm really bad at describing scents and they don't really say. No, they don't really say what's in them or what they're made of anymore. So there's that one. Then I got a really boring looking one. It's called So White. And this was 320. Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna open it. Um, because I can't get it. It's literally just a white ball. And this smells really nice. It's a bit more florally. But again, I'm so bad at describing scent. Just go in and see your nearest lush and try them out. Um so this is so white, I got Space Girl bubble bar, and then every year I hear about this specific shower gel, um, and it is Snow Fairy. So what I did was picked up the smallest one, which was three pound fifty. It's a hundred grams, just because I wanted to test out, and I have so many shower gels I need to get rid of. But this is limited edition, guys. <laughs> um, and it smells so sweet. You know what it smells like? Pear drops. And I love pear drops, so I'm not complaining. But that's amazing. So I'm going to start using this, see if I like it, and then consider buying it a bigger one um, before they run out. But it has little sparkles in it and everything. It is amazing. So that's what I got from Lush. So four things for £13 isn't too bad. Um, what do we have next? Okay, 
So I finished all of the body slash makeup things. So I'm going to go on to jewellery. Okay, so I was in Topshop the other day and I just bought, actually this was before Halloween because I wasn't sure what to go as and I ended up going as a leopard. I'll insert a picture here. Anyway, so I got these. These are just studded cat ears. Woo! Um, and they were £8.50. But that's all I had to buy for my costume, so I thought £8.50 for my costume wasn't too bad. Um, so yeah. That's that. Then I went to H&M and I, this is a necklace that I've seen on Beauty Crush for the last month or so. No, even longer than that, the last few months and I've been hunting it down. And it's this chain. And it's only 3 dollars Woo! So I've been wearing this quite a lot. I used, I wore it in one of my outfits of the day, you can go and see that. Um, but yeah, I really like it. You can get it in gold and silver if I got it in gold. Okay, then I went into Topshop yesterday. And I nearly bought this last time I was in Topshop, but I couldn't decide, but I think this is actually amazing. Um, it was £14, but it was reduced to £12, I think, with student discount. And it's an eagle! How amazing is that? I think with just like a simple top, that will look really cool. Um, and this is like a gunmetal grey with just a small diamond on it. It's not too, nothing too in your face. Um, so I thought that was really cool and has like a quite heavy, hard duty chain. So I'm really excited to wear this. I'm sure you'll be seeing it on my vlog soon. Um, so next, this is just one thing I ordered off Amazon. And it's from a company called Pierced and Modified. So you can look at those on Amazon. Pierced and Modified. Um, and it comes really quickly. I just wanted a straight bar for my piercing here, which you can't see because my hair's in the way. I have slightly a curved one and I don't think it's, it's making it a bit uncomfortable. I don't think it's right for it. So I just wanted a straight one. Um, and I think this is like three pounds or something, if that. Um, and this is the 10 millimeter long one. So it just looks like that. It's just a barbell at both ends. Barbell at both ends, just a little ball at both ends. Um, so yeah, that's that. So pierced and modified if you're looking for that kind of thing, they're really good. They only come in like a day or two. So that's that. Okay, and before I get onto the clothes, I forgot I bought this. I bought this in Topshop when I bought my cat ears. Candy cane! I'm so excited for Christmas, you can't even believe. My first top nail latte today. It was amazing. Right, moving on to clothes. I'm really excited because I've got a fair few things because I've been going to the gym and like at least three times a week and trying to eat healthier and I've pretty much dropped one dress size already in like mostly across the board um obviously not everything because more fitted things don't always um not always always as easy to get into um but i and i went through my wardrobe because i had stuff i just didn't wear anymore um so i got to go shopping a bit so the first thing where should i go okay the first thing i got from h m a few weeks ago i bought this um when i bought the necklace is this this is a fur kind of waistcoat if you can see it it's black i think there's a white version but i just can't be trusted with white um and it does have like a little le faux leather strap thing you can use as a belt i probably won't um so that's that and this was 19.99 which i thought was pretty good so that's that then I went to, oh, just in m and I got some socks. I got some Christmas socks. So these were £4.50. Look how cute they are! I love this kind of thing. I love the colour scheme. I'm really enjoying this. Lots of my socks I've had. Uh, I wear, obviously I wear socks every day with my boots and some of them are starting to wear quite thin on the bottom. So I wanted to get some fun socks in there. Woo! Then also in m and I got another pair of my treggings um, because mine were getting too big so I went down a size. Um, just the standard treggings that you see me wear pretty much every day. Uh, I just got a size smaller. 
and these were 16.50 but I just live in them so they're so worth it I got two pairs of those um then I went into new look and I wasn't very um inspired new look hasn't really inspired me much recently but I just wanted to get a standard skater dress just to wear like with tights so it looks like that it's kind of an oxblood color it just has like three quarter length not even that quarter length sleeves um the wide shoulders you know like how it does it comes all the way to here and always because I'm going to want it like here a little bit but I just thought it was quite nice just that with tights and um, a jumper or a jacket then I went into River Island I got a top that I've been meaning to get for ages I'm so excited I love this and what it is it's a um, navy blue with like faux faux leather looking they're not even leather they're like silky um, bits at the top and then it goes to like a normal length but then it goes down a lot more um, it kind of comes down to like near the back of your knees um, and this is really nice so comfy so I'm sure you'll see that in an outfit the day in no time then, 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 I went into, oh no, I still have one more thing for River Island. This is just a top, a standard khaki coloured top, um, but it has spikes on the shoulders, stud spikes, and these are actually quite heavy, they're like full on. Apart from that, it's just like a standard t-shirt, I got it a bit looser, because um, I don't want it form fitting, I just wanted it like baggy and stuff. Um, then I went into Topshop and as you know I can never usually find anything in Topshop because I find their size is so ridiculous but now I found a few things which is quite exciting first thing I got yesterday and it is it was £15 but I think it was about 13 with my student discount and it's this it's like this green grey t-shirt with shoulder cutouts sorry with shoulder cutouts um I don't know if you can see that and yeah it's really comfy and it's just quite fun there we go um I just like the colour and it's just comfy and then I went in Topshop today and I usually completely skip their scale sale stuff because it's usually just rubbish my general attitude towards sale is like I don't want to buy it the first time I want to buy it now but I did come across one little gem and it's this Topshop t-shirt from the tour range it looks like this um, and this baby went from 15 to 8 pounds I've never bought anything for £8 in Topshop clothes wise so I thought that was pretty nice and then the last thing I'm sure you've seen in plenty of outfits of the days if you've been keeping up with my blog um, and it's a nice tartan scarf that I got from H&M this was £7.99 and I love it it's amazing I forgot to mention that thing that was £8 you still get student discount on so it's £7.20 but any penny counts um, so I love this, I've been wearing this all the time. Right, so that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye!